Hi there again everybody, it's me, Mr. McHackerman, and I have another C++ tutorial video for you here today. Um, a big question that's been going around in computer science and robotics and artificial intelligence um, especially is the question of, can we program emotion? And it's it's been something that a lot of people have debated for a long time, philosophers and um, scientists alike, and I'm happy to report that I figured it out just today. I was doing some programming and I figured out uh, how to program emotion, so I thought that I would share my knowledge with you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do, I'm hoping to make this as accessible as possible to everybody, so it's going to be kind of basic, but just um, just bear with me here. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up the IO Stream library. It's, it's an essential one, people who have programmed for a long time know it well. And then you're going to want to use this library. It's uh, called Emotions. This is where we're going to draw our emotions from. Important. And we're going to be using the namespace uh, Feelings. So that we've got our bases covered there. Alright, let's open up our main and get to the real, the real meat of things. Actually, first, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to create our AI. So, let's make a struct called AI, um, and inside of it we, we're going to want probably, let's let's think here, we're going to want a string, um, we're going to call that words, uh, that way it can talk, and we're probably going to want a, um, hmm, we're going to want to have uh, thinking in there. As important and uh, probably some math too. Alright, looking good. So down in our main we're going to um, we're gonna open our AI. So open AI. Um, then we're going to start inputting our things. So AI um, we're, we're gonna give it sadness. We're going to give it um, some happy Hmm, what other important emotions are there? Oh, there's fear, which is essential. That way they don't get too cocky. Um, and courage is also needed. And, you know, that's a pretty decent AI. Um, there's always the worry, of course, that it'll become too self-aware. So we're, we're going to, you know, and start to attack humans and stuff. So we're going to say um, AI... Uh, Bane, that's the, the Bane symbol, um, evil, and all that, all that that says is that it's not going to be evil, so that's pretty, pretty important. Okay, um, this looks like a pretty solid AI, let's, uh, get this thing up and running. Alright, so here is our AI console, let's say hello to it, okay, it says hi back, this is pretty good. Um, how are you? Feeling nice and sentient, also not evil. So that seems to have worked out. Great. Oh, and it smiled back. That's, that's wonderful. So there you go. That's, um, that's an AI. That's how you make one. And it, it can feel and think on its own. So... Thanks for joining me with this tutorial, and I'll see you guys.